hi guys um in the previous video i've said that um i'll be doing four part videos uh of me getting building footprints of uh glenara but um i've combined two of those videos into one because it's using the same software so it's gonna be three part video instead of uh four and uh in this video i'm going to show you how to get the OSM data from uh, OpenStreetMap into Blender. I'll attach all the links to download all the software and the add-ons uh, or plugins that I'll be using um, in this video. So here I have the 3D model of the Melbourne CBD on Blender. And on this side, you can see the layers, um, the highways and waterways you could ex extract from this if you want to export it to another uh, software. The reason why I have Melbourne CBD here instead of Glenara is because um, the, OS, the OpenStreetMap does not have the building footprints. Um, so you only get the ones that is already available there, even from the Blender. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So first you need to install Blender if you don't have it and you can download it from here. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so I'll be showing two ways to download the OpenStreetMap into Blender. This is the first way. So from gumroad.com, you can download um, Blender OSM. You can pay any amount or you can just download it and um, this is what you'll get once you press the download. And it comes with the manual as well. You can follow these instructions. So once you've gotten that, uh, you open your blender and then you go to uh, edit preferences and from here you'll have to look for the import export blender osm and you look for your zip file that you've downloaded you edit i've already added that and the the other thing is you can attach your mapbox um account to this so in a way you can download your map data even from mapbox uh, i guess mapbox is more a uh, sort of a legal way to download the map data so since here i have installed the plugin to download the osm data you press uh, n on your keyboard to get this and this is the window that will pop up uh, you have all these uh, options where you can add your longitude latitude or you can just um, select from here and open the map this will take you to the map and you can take whichever um, area that you'd like so this is the first way to do it the other way is um, from github.com you can download blender GIS this is a totally free version and they have the manual as well at the bottom so simply you just go download the zip file from here uh, once you have the zip file downloaded go to blender edit preferences you find the 3d view blender GIS uh, open it at the file I've already edited it so it's on mine um, and the one thing you have to do is create a cache file anywhere you want uh, and from here open GIS maps um, it's uh, set to this by default you don't have to change if you don't want to and once you press ok it will load the map and you can go to whichever location you want you can even search from this and you can edit the um, zoom level So I want to take from, so I tried first taking the data from uh, Glenara, trying to see if I could get the building footprints of Glenara. So um, and so this is our site uh, for our proposal. And you can set your area to whichever zoom level you want and you just press E and you'll get this 
if you um, rotate it using your mouse you can see it's a bit flat at the moment but if you want to get the terrains um, uh, for areas where there are terrains you can go back to GIS uh, get elevations this will create the terrains uh, that are at your location it might take a minute to load so I've cut to uh, where I've gotten the elevations so it's not too much it's pretty flat at this area compared to M Melbourne CBD which had more terrains uh, so back to GSM get OSM and you can tick at all the all these or whichever you like for your 3d map um, I'm just going to uh, click all shift and select all and then press uh, ok elevation from object and then press ok this did not take too much time for me because it did not have uh, any buildings on it. I don't know what these um, weird shapes are. Probably it's the terrains um, that came up but anyways it does not have any buildings apart from the one or two buildings on these two sides uh, which I got from the map room as well. So this is the 3D data I got of uh, Melbourne CBD. You can see it has all the building details, um, same as the open street map. When you turn to 3D, you can see all this information there. Uh, if the open street map does not have the building footprints uh, in 3D, um, it's technically you won't get it in Blender as well. But I think this is a really good way to um, get uh, download the 3D data for for from the OSM uh, it looks pretty good the layers are different you can see it on the side it's separate you can turn it on and off um, the waterways the hi highways yeah so it's a I think it's pretty neat how it did that but you can see on the other side the flat areas it does not have the buildings and you can go to export you can export it as an OBJ or X3D or FBX so you have all the options over here uh, yeah so that's it for Blender yep thank you